while ago I did a video about paying motorway tolls here in Portugal and the other day I got a comment under that video from somebody asking how do you pay the road tax, your car tax here in Portugal and I thought funny you should ask that because when I first needed to pay I didn't have a clue. I knew I needed to pay it but I didn't know how much it was. I didn't get notification i just didn't know where to go to find it and i thought i had that question this person's got that question that is one people too many so i'm going to do a video about it so that's all this video is about some of you are gonna leave us here because you don't need to know so it's a very simple task paying your road tax when you know how but like my friend says a lot of the times here in portugal you literally feel she feels she's 60 going on six um you do you feel like a child um because yeah like i say what should be simple just isn't and is things aren't easy to find out often now i'm in the system it's fine because i get an email every year telling me when my road tax is due and i got a reference number and the amount so it's easier to pay it was just that first year so this is how you pay your road tax now the name of the road tax here is IUC. No idea what that stands for, but obviously I'll put it on the screen. When it's due depends on the registration month of your car. So for me, my car is registered in November. So my road tax is due in December every year. How much is it? Obviously depends on your car. Mine is, oh, it kills me every year. I have got a 2015 Skoda Yeti diesel car and my road tax is 235 euros. It kills me because in the UK it was 30 pounds, just 30 pounds. But obviously all cars are different, but that just gives you some kind of an idea. So as I said, that first year I did I did not, I didn't get any notification. I didn't get any paperwork. So I will show you how to find where it is on the Financia website. So firstly, obviously you need to log on and you need to have your login details and password already set up. So once you have logged on, it should bring you to this page and hopefully you should see an alert if your car tax is due. So you'll click on that as I have done here. As you can see, it says IUC. So we've got an alert about car tax. And then you click on the view more button. And then this isn't immediately obvious. I would have thought it would have shown you more about the road tax it was referring to, but then it brings you to this page and you have to click on the current year and and then it brings you up to this screen which i mean it was automatically the right one was ticked for me it's asking you about the type of vehicle so mine's just an ordinary vehicle the first category is, so you click on proceed for that one and then on this page you can see what is due when it's the payment is due and how much it is however it does not give you an option to pay on this page so this is just where you find out what is due. So if for any reason you do not have an alert there to click on, from the same page you're just going to scroll down, you'll see these boxes with some op options, click on IUC and then that brings you to the same page that we was on for the previous instructions. Ways to pay. Once you have obviously your you've got your paperwork, you'll have a reference number the and the amount, and then it's relatively simple. You can go to into a post office, CCT. Obviously, you just give them the paperwork, the reference number, and you can pay it over the counter. You can pay it in an ATM. To do that, at the ATM, once you've put in obviously a Portuguese bank card, you choose payment and other services. Then you choose option number three, state and public services. Then it's option number seven, payments to the state. Then you put in the reference number that you all already have. And it's as easy as that when you know how and um, when you're not looking in the wrong place. The first year I paid, I, I did my road tax. I did it in the ATM really simply. The second year, I do not know why. I just could not find the right 
um, choice on the ATM to do it. I do not know why. In the end, I was at a cash, mach at a cash machine and I just gave up. But the woman behind me sort of saw and, um, you know, asked if I needed any help. And so I showed her the paper. So she went, she, you know, she said she'd help me. Now, I don't know why, because as you will see, it is very simple and very straightforward. But even she was having trouble. She kept going to one screen, then going back. And anyway, she was going all over the place and having trouble. I do not know why at that particular time we was having so much trouble. Because as you will see, it is relatively straightforward. Maybe we was just looking for IUC or look at going under transport. I don't know, but I knew it was government services. But for one reason both of us had difficulty finding it but yeah so you can pay it at, at the atm another way is mb way which i'm not too sure about when i tried to pay on the financier website that uses the mb way login but it wouldn't work for me because i don't have a portuguese phone number anymore and um it doesn't accept a foreign number it's got too many digits so that's an option but i can't give you details of that because I do not know. So remember earlier I said we was on the page where we could see the car tax but you couldn't actually, there was no option to pay. So to pay you're going to log in again and whenever you log in you end up in on this my area page. So down the left hand side you've got a menu, then you've got payments on that menu. So you click on that and then you get to this section which gives you the option for payments and refunds then you click on that then you will see a list of any payments that are due for a multitude of things but obviously for me all I've got is the car tax then you just simply click on the pay button and MB way opens up yeah it's as easy as that but as I said I can't can't use MB way but you just follow the instructions and then that's quite straightforward so that's paying on the financier website Another way, if you do want to do it in person, as well as the CTT post office, you can go walk into any financier office. Obviously, you give them your NIF number and the reference number and you can pay it there. And another way is you can set up a direct debit. So it just comes out automatically every year. So as you can hear, now I'm explaining it to you. It really is quite easy and quite straightforward. And there are a lot of options but I don't know what, well, I do know why I found it so difficult that first year, because I didn't have any notification. I didn't have a reference number. I didn't get notified of how much it was, when it was due or anything. I don't know why. But as I said, I found it on the financier website in the end. I would have shown you, I'm going to show you where that is. And um, yeah, many ways to pay and it's quite straightforward. That's it. No point in waffling on. That's how to pay your road tax. Hope that was helpful.